How y'all doing tonight? You know, first thing first, thank you for your love and your support. Highly appreciate it, you know. Um, I guess with the strikes they gave me, I guess they assume, you know, I'll stop making videos. You know what I'm saying? But they can't keep a real one down. But uh, anyways, y'all wanted to get into this. If they don't take this video down, um, I'm currently working on a backup channel. And um, I'm currently trying to get another station or app to go on to do my videos because... This YouTube shit ain't the business, man. I got too much shit I like to talk about and want to post and put that I can't do. You know what I'm saying? So in the meantime, you know what I mean? I'm going to keep putting out these videos. So what we got here is the baby. Obviously, the baby made news because his brother died. Right? His brother, quote unquote, committed suicide. And before he did it, he went live. Okay? Why would somebody go live and kill themselves? Right? It's only because they're looking for attention and they want people to feel sorry for them or they want people to stop them. In reality, they're probably not going to do it. So when I heard this, the first thing I thought about was like, okay, this is some bullshit ass story. Then I thought about it. I said, you know what? His brother just a death faker like himself because what he did was fake his death just to come back at somebody else. So he can have money and he can have fame like big bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, I hate to be the one to break it to y'all. You get what I'm saying? But I want y'all to have an open mind with this. What I don't want people to say to me is that they knew somebody to know somebody. Because y'all got to understand, man, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, that don't mean that you knew him personally. And for those out there, Cause this is the baby y'all he plays the role of little snoop okay you know what i'm saying and um for anybody that knew little snoop you know what i'm saying y'all gotta understand that y'all don't know y'all have never talked to the baby you know what i'm saying so you can't be like yo bro you know what little snoop got murdered this this and that you know what i'm saying you don't you know that from what you heard and on tv you know what I'm saying? Other than that, you don't know shit about him really getting murdered. Because if he really got murdered, why is this man that you're looking at right now? This is 100% Lil Snoop. Okay? So, um, the baby right here, y'all. Okay? Face says it all, man. There's thousands of similarities for him not to be little, to, for him to be, excuse me, Lil Snoop. You know what I'm saying? The, at the timing of when he died, when, you know, there's no baby pictures of the fucking baby. You know what I'm saying? He calls himself the fucking baby. That's also a fucking riddle. You know what I'm saying? Because I, it's right there in your face. Now, this is the baby, a.k.a. Little Snoop, before he faked his death. By the block. I was raised by the gun. I was raised by the guy. And I wasn't raised by my mama. I was raised by the cops because I stayed up in jail. Was headed to the cell. I was only headed to prison or headed straight to hell. See, hell, that was where a nigga was headed real shit. Because it seemed like my life was finna end real quick. See, my mama washed her hands. She ain't want to deal with me because I wasn't trying to go to school. I was trying to be in the street. I wasn't trying to be a nigga. I was trying to be a G. I wasn't trying to be broke. I was trying to get the teeth, nigga. Yeah, it shit was real on my block. Nigga started from the bottom, trying to make it to the top. Nigga told me I couldn't do it. Now they looking at me now, like this boy headed to the top. I'm like, yeah, I'm headed to the top. Let me take you way back, like 96. I was one years old. Who thought I'd turn out to be this? I'm the motherfucking shit. Nigga, just look at my click. That's so... so what he said was, let me take you way back to 96 i was one years old indicating he was born in 1995 indicating that he was one years old in 96 six okay six so but if you subtract five from 96 you'll have 91 that's the year that the baby quote unquote was born which make him 28 okay this is little snoop OK, and for all the people out there, I believe that you met this guy. I believe some of y'all really knew this guy. You get what I'm talking about. I'm not doubting that. Don't don't think that I don't doubt doubt it. OK, I believe he was a real person, but I believe. 
that they made him a deal to fake his death. And he became the baby. He's much more popular. He has much more money. And his legacy as Lil Snoop lives on. Okay? And if you guys question that, then ask these questions to the baby. Because he can answer those questions on why he did it. But I'm the wrong guy to ask why did Lil Snoop did it. Because he clearly was either forced to do it. He clearly wanted the fame and the money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm the wrong guy to ask for that, y'all. The baby is living the true rock star life as... I want y'all to see this. Nominees for the 2020 BET Hip Hop Awards are here. The baby has double nominations in four categories. Best Hip Hop Video, Song of the Year, Hip Hop Album of the Year, and Best Collaboration. All those goddamn nominations. Do you think Little Snoop would have ever got that? No, because it's how he made his image to be. You know what I'm saying? So he got reinvented, obviously, for more money and more fame. And you guys can't see that. Okay? But let me take you to this one. It's a little Snoop. Zone four, yeah, the project. Uh, and no school, all my homies had the pirates. Oh, and we had tabs, had boys. Now, you can tell by the mannerism. You know what I'm saying? The way he moves. You know what I'm saying? That this, this dude clearly, clearly is the baby. You know what I'm saying? And we had weed, and we weren't trying to sell ridges, so we was sour D. Oh. And all my cousins, they was locked up and in the streets. Oh. And all of them was thug, and they really trying to wait for release. And all my dogs, they was getting, people started hating. And all my dogs got locked up, and some got probation, but we was still getting it. Y'all see Mickey, Mickey Mouse over there? You know what I'm saying? Looking funny as funny can be. You no, know, I got a patient, and it don't shock me that I'm here, because I knew that I was going to make it. 17. Since I was young, boy. Since I was young, boy. You that's the baby, y'all. Even when Snoop died, I used to be looking like he was ahead of his time or something. Like he was too advanced for this world. Like the way he was rapping, the way he carried himself. <laughs> when little Snoop died, I felt like he was ahead of his time. It's so funny to me. Because he's dating to back to the baby actual day he was born. The year he was fucking born. And he knows it. Okay? He's in on it. We used to look at him like he was an alien when he was rapping, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, people from what our culture, where we come from, when they see you doing better, it'd be like they try, like, extra harder to plot against you. I don't know what it is, but you get different. First of all, let me say this to everybody out there that's a Mickey Mouse fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dissing Philly. I got a lot of love and respect for a lot of the niggas in Philadelphia. Every time I touch Philly, you know what I mean? Because I be on that motherfucker road in PA a lot of the times. You know what I'm saying? I get the most utmost respect. So I'm not dissing niggas in Philly, but I am saying and taking the jab at Mickey Mouse. And I'm saying that this is a straight up clown. And for any real nigga in Philly that's going to comment below, ask yourself one question. Why are all the niggas that roll with Meek Mills, why are they always getting killed? All the way to fake motherfuckers that wear masks or fake they death to real motherfuckers that actually die. Why are they always getting killed? You know what I'm saying? Because where I'm from, a motherfucker to keep getting killed around somebody, they the ones that keep setting the motherfucker up. So y'all need, y'all pressing the wrong nigga. Press this motherfucker, if anything. If y'all really believe in this and shit like that, press this nigga. Okay? Hey, that dude was a, that was the all-purpose young black brother. That was a young soldier. That man rapped about his mama so much. That man rapped about where he was from. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross said he's the... You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Y'all got to wake up with a lot of this bullshit, man. I know it's hard to realize, hard to accept. You know what I mean? Especially for all of us that grew up in like the projects. You know what I'm talking about? This they didn't have a bed, they had to sleep on the floor. A lot of motherfuckers don't even know what a pallet is. The motherfuckers that had to lay on a motherfucking pallet. This this a, a thin ass paper thin blanket with a fucking pillow that smashed to the fucking floor. So we, when we grew up, it was cool to see a motherfucker like Lil Snoop. You know what I'm talking about on this grind. You know what I mean? Making good music. You know what I'm saying? The nigga has some flows. But at the end of the day, as a grown-ass motherfucking man, it's sad to say the motherfucker sold out. He's a sellout. He's a fucking sellout. The nigga never died. So if you're a little Snoop fan, know that nigga's the baby. Know he's alive. But then 
Y'all need to ask the baby on why he done that shit. You get what I'm talking about? What was the, what was his point and why he had never come clean with it? You know what I'm saying? That's all y'all got to do instead of hopping on board and be like, well, you know what? You know, you know what? Um, he, he was a real one, this, this, and that. I'm not questioning the nigga was, was not a real one. I believe back in the day when he was playing Lil Snoop, he was until he got approached a deal he couldn't refuse. You get what I'm saying? That's all they do. They take niggas that's desperate for money and live in the neighborhoods like that, and they make a buffoon out of us. You know what I'm talking about? You can use me for a fucking example. You know what I'm saying? You throw a little bit of money. I was ready to fucking damn near sell my soul for a little bit of money. I had to think about where the fuck I'm from, where I came from. You know what I'm talking about? What example I'm going to set for my family and for my kids. You know what I'm talking about? At least these niggas get millions. You know what I'm talking about? So, man, y'all have a good night, man.